That's not fair. Good morning and happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 19th. Did you have a good weekend? Last week was very trying, wasn't it? We had the funeral of Prince Philip. Um, the Chauvin trial, that looks like we might have a decision by the end of the week coming up. I'm very interested to uh, see how that plays itself out. And how about Carlos Rodon for the White Sox, pitching a no-hitter but missing a perfect game by that much? The umpire That's not fair! The umpire said that he uh, actually nicked the batter in the ninth inning to spoil the perfect game. But congratulations to a no-hitter. Isn't that fantastic? So you might be asking, Mark, where are you? You're typically behind your desk. Well, I'm actually on the other side of the desk here. And I'm there because the sun just keeps coming through the window and uh, it did look like it was a nice picture. So we'll give this a try. If you don't like it and you want me back on the other side, just let me know and we can comply next week. That's not fair. You know what, I just had to stop recording there for a minute because uh, I got a telemarketer call. Uh, last week they said, uh, I think it was on Good Morning America, they said that you can download an app called U, Y-O-U Mail, M-A-I-L, that will help you set up to prevent telemarketer phone calls. Uh, so anyway, um, that's not fair. The reason I'm doing this is because insurance companies are very, very black and white with the applications for employers and employees. So that reminds me of a story. Typically, with my employer groups, I will try to stop in twice a year just to say, hey, how are things going? And uh, make sure that we're all always on the same page. Because, you know, life is very fluid. It's always changing. There was this one time in Oswego, I had a group that had about 70, 75 employees. The controller's office was at a different location from the, the warehouse. And I'm sitting down with the controller getting caught up when the foreman walks through. And she stops and introduces me to the foreman. The foreman all of a sudden gets very upset and angry with me. Figured out what the problem was. His spouse had a claim of about seventy, seventy-five thousand dollars and this is a few years ago so my memory isn't exactly perfect. Uh, that wasn't paid by Humana, the insurance company. And I thought, wow, that doesn't seem right here. Uh, the group had been insured with Humana for three or four years, and he had been on the insurance and insured with them for that time frame. In fact, he had been an employee who had been there for maybe uh, 12, 15 years. So it just didn't seem right. With today's modern technology, I was able to go online and look up the application that was submitted, and you know what? He did not put down his wife and his children. Now, I think I alluded that to that last week that you have to put down your, uh, your family members. Of course, the insurance company is not going to pay for it. This is a legal contract. His document did not have it down there. And the controller and I looked at him and said, you know, they don't know about this. And his comment was, well, premium has been paid all along. Well, that was true. But premium was not paid for the wife and the children, so there was no coverage. So he walked off in a huff, and the controller says to me, you know, Mark, um, those people are down there, even though he's been my employee, I see him just maybe a few times a year. I did not know he was married with a family. Didn't know that. How much more so is that the case for those of you who are working for large companies where you might not even know who the controller is? The last time you saw somebody or talked to somebody in personnel was maybe when you got hired. So these are legal contracts. Take the time. Those applications as I went through were not all that hard. Take the time, read through it, and fill those things out appropriately. Because That's not fair. Well, my question is, Whoever said life was fair? That's why insurance companies have legal contracts. So what's happened here at the MLD agency the last week? Well, we were able to pick up a couple of dental policies with Delta Dental. Uh, had a little bit of an issue with um, Aetna that was readily taken care of. And thank you very much, uh, Christine over at Aetna. She's A number one. She was able to take care of that. Uh, we picked up an uh, individual policy for Blue Cross Blue Shield and another one for Cigna. So we're working along and going right through. We're marketing to the small group marketplace. So if you're a small group and you're looking for insurance, don't 
hesitate to give me a call. Same thing for if you're looking for individual health insurance, life insurance, whatever. Don't hesitate to give me a call. Numbers on the bottom of the screen and we look forward to seeing you next week.